the Pacers worked the Bucks 120 to 98. And this is a game where we saw all sorts of ridiculous things. First of all, um, you know, they, they without Giannis, what are the Bucks? And uh, the, the answer is not much. And in some despicable behavior afterwards, Patrick Beverly to a female uh, reporter um, was what asked her if, if she subs- I'm going to try to find it here. She subscribed to his podcast. He was so unbelievably rude to her. Um, I, I've actually never seen anything like it. Um, I mean, it was, it was awful. And you know what? I actually don't think it had anything to, I hope it didn't have anything to do with her just uh, being a woman, but, um, yeah, let me show it to you. What? What? Hold on. All right, watch this. You subscribe to my pod? Do I subscribe to you? I do not. So I'm, I, you can't interview me then. Okay, no disrespect. Well, J- Jamal is here. You, you, sure. you subscribe? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, again, there were a couple times within a bucket or two. Um, in previous games, y'all have been able to kind of get over that hump. Or maybe, um, was it anything they did in particular, or was it just one of those where the bucket didn't go down, there wasn't the stop, they made one? What, what kind of prevented that you all from being able to get over like you have in the move that mic, please, or just get out the circle, please, for me, please, ma'am. If you're not subscribed to my pod, I appreciate that. Thank you. Here, that, that is, I, I cannot, I can't, I, I cannot tell you how wildly inappropriate and pissed off that makes me right there. As, as somebody who's been in that circle around athletes, the right reaction from the rest of the reporters would have been to tell him that's out. Of... If anybody had some balls, they, they would have told him we should all stop being in this circle with you right now. I, I encourage <laughs> don't subscribe to his pod. If you are subscribed to his pod, please unsubscribe to his pod. You go in there and you've got an assignment as a reporter. Likely your day, just just to let you know what her day probably was like, okay? If that game started at 8 o'clock, and I'm not sure what time it started, but just for the sake of argument, let's just say it started at 8 o'clock. That means um, the coaches speak starting at hour and 45 before um, the game. So 6.45, okay? So you got to get to the arena. They might have had a shoot-around earlier in the day. So let's just say they had a shoot-around. It's not unusual that would happen. Their shoot-around would be like at noon. So you'd be going to the shoot-around. There's a lot of just standing around at the shoot-around to get whatever video or audio you need to collect for whatever piece you're working on. So you're, you're getting up at, you know, and I don't want you to feel sorry for, reporters at games. I get it. But I just want to let you know what her day was probably like. Um, So she's probably bumping around around 10, whatever, a.m. to get ready for the shoot around. You got to go to the arena. Okay, fine. I get it. It's not the hardest work in the world, but it's time. And shoot around. Then you got to work on whatever prep you're getting ready for. You got to come back to the arena uh, probably by six six fifteen. They're talking probably by five forty five, where there's dinner there. So you eat there, which is good, but it's not fancy. It's not filet mignon or something. It's just you know food, regular food. Then you talk to the coaches at six fifteen. Then the other coach at six thirty. Then you want to watch the game. The game's not till eight o'clock. So again, you got to kill a bunch of time. The game happens from eight to say ten fifteen or so, something like that. He's fully clothed. It is in the locker room, but he's got all his clothes on. So that's going to be at least 20 minutes after the game. So we're talking 10, 15, 10, 45. And you're just looking for some sort of sound or video you can use for whatever you're doing. And um, so you're, you're already clocking in a 12, 13 hour day as it stands to get a little something from Pat Beverly, who was playing a lot because Giannis was out. 
And I get it. You lost. You're in a bad mood. I mean, I do get that. And I am sensitive to that. But to be asked, you subscribe to my pod and to be humiliated by being told to get out of the circle. That is so fucking outrageous. It's ridiculous. It's so inappropriate. So outrageous. Um, It's so disrespectful. So he's taking a lot of heat, rightfully so, for this. In my opinion of Patrick Beverly, who, by the way, during that game, threw a ball twice at a fan off the bench. Sore loser, jerk, um, disrespectful. He's 35 years old. He's been in the NBA for over a dozen years. I mean, talk about somebody who should know better. And, And guess what? Yeah. Guess what, Mr. Beverly? You're going to have a microphone in front of your face for like three minutes. You're not that important, but we are covering the game that you are participating in. It's got nothing to do with you. We ain't covering Patrick Beverly. We're covering the game. Disgusting, disgusting behavior. Aside from that, I'm doing great. I'm so glad they lost. And if a team has a brain in their heads, yeah, you played, hey, you played 40 minutes, you went 3 of 11, 0 for 3 from 3, and scored 6 points. Did you subscribe to my pod? What pod is that? I can't (laughs) shoot.com? Uh, Meanwhile, the uh, Knicks beat the 76ers 118 to 115, and they won that series 4 to 2. Um, And that's a wrap on the 76ers um, and Joel Embiid and uh, all all of that stuff. (laughs) The drama with the Sixers cracks me up. Embiid with 39 points, though. Wow. 13 free throws, 13 for 13, two of five from three, 40 minutes, 39 points. That's somebody who's producing. 